Hello, my name is Tim, and today we are going to set up a local YUM repository. For this demonstration, I'm using Red Hat Enterprise Linux 6. The abbreviation is RHEL 6. And I have at least 4 gigs of free space on my server. We need this so that we can copy over the Red Hat DVD uh, contents over onto the local server. So the first thing that I'm going to do is create this folder which is var www.html rel6 now this path may look familiar that's because this is the Apache path uh, for the Apache web server this is where you place your files so that Apache can basically host your your website we're going to use Apache to push out our repository data so let's begin first thing I want to do is create the folder so I'm going to do mkdir-p for www.html rel6 and now I need to mount my Red Hat um, Enterprise Linux 6 DVD I've already done that it's over here in my media um, rel6 DVD I'm do ls and all the data is here so let's copy it over cp-ar period now the period uh, means copy all the files including the hidden files that might be there. We're going to copy it to var www.html rel6. Hit enter. Now this is going to take about a minute and a half or so. So I'm going to pause the recording right now. Just to save, just to ensure that the video isn't so big. I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm back. That took about a minute and a half. It's not that bad for 2.9 gigs of data. Okay, let's continue. So now that we copied over the data, what we need to do is start the Apache web server because Apache needs to be able to push out the data. Let me go here. And to do this, you type in service HTTPD. That stands for the Apache daemon. Start and it says that it started well and how do we know that it's running I look for the status and it says that uh, the process ID 2690 is running so that's good and now what we want to do is enable the Apache web server to start up on boot up so in case your server um, I guess goes down accidentally the power goes out you want to make sure that Apache is running when the server starts up again. And the way to do this is to use this command chk config httpd on, and that basically tells you that Apache is going to start up the next time you reboot your system. And how do we tell? We do chk config list httpd, and look. Apache is going to start up, start up on run level 3, 4, and 5. We're not going to talk about run levels now, but let's just say it's going to start up. It's going to work. Okay. Next thing we want to do now is to create the yum repository file. Now this is very important. Basically yum looks at, the, at these repository files to know where to get uh, the data. So the repository files or the repo files are, loca are located here in forward slash etsy yum.repos.d I'll do ls and look three files which are named red hat.repo so let's create our own repo file because we need to tell yum where to you know where um, basically where to go to to get the new data so Let's start the VIM. I'm going to rename this rel6.repo. Okay, the first thing we need to do is give it a label. So rel6, I'll call it DVD. And we're going to give it a name. Now, the next line it says, you know, we need to tell it what name it is. And it's not really a name, it's more of a description. I'm going to put down here rel6dvd. Okay. Close that locally. That's fine. Okay. 
and the next one is the base URL this tells you where to find the files and for us it's going to be localhost forward slash rel6 okay uh, the next one is very important is to enable it enable equals one one means yes it is enabled zero means no it's not and the next one is gpg check equals zero because by default it's going to ask you uh, to basically do a gpg check against the data which is there you're telling it no that's okay I, I know where the dvd came from i trust it things are all right let's close the file and let's see if it's work if this works so the command is yum repo this and look dvd uh, rel6 dvd repo name okay so we can tell that it's running it's working there are 2719 packages which are on the dvd and now let's install something let's see if this really works let's install something really important I'm going to do yum install gnome games star y why do we need gnome games well a system admin needs something to do when patches are being installed <laughs> And how do we know that it's working? We'll go to application, games, and look, you have landmines, Sudoku, and Solitaire. Life is good. Okay, so this concludes our video on setting up a local YUM repository. If you are studying for, well, I hope that this video has been helpful. And if you are studying for your RH, CSA or RHCE exam. I wish you nothing but the very best. Thank you and take care.